Hello everyone and welcome back to the Keep Productive YouTube channel. In today's feature, we're taking a look at Note Plan 2 for Mac. We're going to be diving into the application, giving you a bit of a quick review. Now, for those who don't know, Note Plan is a sort of like a blend between a note taker, a task manager, and a calendar application, but in a very subtle way. And it's available on iOS and Mac. And what we'll be doing today is digging into the new Mac version, giving you a bit of an outline of some of the features, and also giving you a recommendation of where this is suitable for if you're planning or looking to use it. So hopefully you get a good idea of whether Note Plan 2 is suitable for you. That rhymes and it shouldn't. <laughs> so without further ado guys, let's jump into this video. So guys, just before we dive in, I wanted to mention our sponsor for May 2019 and that is Brain FM. A big thanks to those guys for sponsoring. So for those who don't know, Brain FM is an AI-based music application that helps you select music designed to help you focus, relax, de-stress, re-energize, and meditate. You can choose for a variety of different situations, and that's what makes it so exciting. This application is backed by science and also provides a great way to improve whatever you're doing, whether you're trying to concentrate or you actually want to improve sleep patterns, etc. It has got a range of different scenario modes, which is very useful. And I actually used a sleep one when I was in San Francisco, especially having some jet lag and I got some really strong hours of sleep. And the patterns can be chosen for different time periods of your sleep, which is awesome. Now, if you are interested in playing around with this, you can get free five free sessions of Brain FM below using the downloads available on iOS and Android. And if you do like it and find it useful, you can go ahead and subscribe using Keep as your 20% discount code. Anyway, guys, thanks so much to Brain FM. Let's jump into Note Plan. Okay, so here we are with Note Plan 2 for Mac in front of us. And before we begin, let's start with the pricing and positioning of this product. So, how much is Note Plan 2? Now, it prices at 14 days free, and that's the trial period of time. And then after that, on the iOS device, it is $14.99, which is a one off fee that you pay outright. Now you can also get it through what's called the set app plan, which is available for Mac devices. And that will be obviously free based in the subscription. Now the new Mac version actually is priced a little bit differently. It's actually priced at $29.99. And I don't know, depending on the posting of this video, you might be able to get $5 off during their launch. Um, they let me know that. Um, but of course, I apologize if I'm posting this late and I've wasted you $5. Now, the way that Note Plan positions itself is more of a work planner. It tries to combine to-do lists, note taker, and calendar in one application. Now, the way I put it is agenda and sort of diner list had a baby with this application, and that is what Note Plan is. It's been around for a while now, and it has been very popular. It's got a 4.6 iOS App Store rating, which is fairly strong for a productivity application. And it's a German-based company run by, I think it's a single developer with a few helpers in the marketing department. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Mac version. So as you can see here on this left hand side, you've got the sidebar which indicates your calendar and notes which you can switch to. And when you go in the calendar, you also get the mentions. For example, if somebody else mentions you or you've mentioned yourself, it will appear in this section. You've also got hashtags to organize your notes too. And it sort of combines both the calendar and notes experience, which is a little bit different, but it seems to work fairly well. Now, as you can see here in the center, you've got mainly the calendar, but you can toggle this view to a list view, which allows you to see all of your different occasions viewed here. And also, if you have any tasks, you can see them all in line as well. So if I go into this area, which is the main area, I can actually turn this into a full-sized display. And as you can see here at the top, you've got all of your calendar events. Now this actually integrates with iCal, iCloud. So you get all of your Apple calendar events, reminders, and also notes as well, which is fairly attractive for those already using Apple's devices. As you can see here, if I click in, I can actually edit the events directly. And as you can see, this is a repeated event. So you'll see that throughout the calendar events I have. I can even go ahead and change the calendar, the details like alerts, repeat, and even add this as a reminder instead. 
and all I have to do to make any changes is press save. So up in the top right hand corner if I wanted to go ahead and create a new event you can go do so here and it's very smart so use smart date passing to be able to add more details. So for example if I want to say meet mark at 11 a.m. it automatically detects all of that stuff and will add it in the information here. If I wanted to add this as a reminder so for example I could say pick up milk for today at 12 I can add that as a reminder and it will be able to add into the sort of timeline feed of the day. So you can see there, boxing, and then pick up milk, and then cook and eat lunch. And these are all recurring, as you can see. So this is quite a nice view. It's very similar to the likes of Things 3, when you're actually seeing the calendar events that they have. Now you can scroll to the next day ahead if you want to, just by simply tapping forward. Now as you can see here, here's a day in the week that I have more things to do. And as you can see, I've added sign up to NHBC. Now, as you can see, I've created this as a star and I've just simply added an asterisk, which automatically appears if you've already created one. But let's go ahead and type in asterisk. That is how you go ahead and create a tickable task. Now, for example, if I wanted to say, uh, get quote for present gift voucher for zoo, I could go ahead and see that as a task. And if I go out of this, I can actually see that as a task inside of here. And actually this week signed up to the NHBC. So you can see that task ticks off. And inside of the day view, it actually appears as a grayed out item. So you can sort of see what you did that day, which is quite nice. So that's how to get tasks up. And as you might have noticed up here as well, you can see the completion of the day, which is quite nice. So for example, I've completed half the tasks of the day and it's indicated by a pie chart. Now, if I wanted to, I could actually move this to the next day. So I could, for example, move this to tomorrow, move it to today, actually complete it. I can complete it just by ticking it off there. I can control uh, Z to undo if I want to, and I can also cancel it as well. Now I can move it to a specific day in the future. So for example, if I was like, okay, I'm gonna set it to Saturday, then it, you can see it's deferred. It's almost like a bullet journal to some extent because you have the ability to see things advanced. And as you see up here, it is ticked off. Now if I go back out into here and I scroll ahead to maybe week 20, I think it was week 20, oh no, it was this, um, this Saturday, I should see it appear there. And as you can see, I can click into this Saturday and see all of the relevant details. Now up in this top right hand corner, I can go ahead and copy the URL to note, copy link to note, show in Finder. Now this is quite useful because if I wanted to see this as a text document, I can easily do so, which is very useful in case I wanted to export something. Now you're probably wondering, where do the notes come in? Now you can do notes in two ways. For example, if I wanted to not necessarily add tasks here, but for example, add some maybe detailed uh, headings, and I can add a heading down here and I can say notes for the day. Maybe I was in a meeting and I can go ahead and add bullet points down here, all the relevant details. And if you want all of the stylings and information you need to know about headings, how to make lists, bold stuff like normal, you can access it all in these styles and shortcuts area, which should be available when you download it. So that's very neat. And I can even write agenda and minutes here associated to the day, which is handy. Now, if I wanted to take more serious notes in more detail, I could go ahead and create notes in this notes area. So as you can see here, you can start going with some notes. And if I want to go ahead and create a brand new note, I can do so up here and I can even give it a basic title. So for example, if you want to say meeting notes and be able to start tapping away. Now, for example, if I wanted to go ahead and tag this as books, for example, maybe this is books that I'm writing or something like that, I've created a hashtag called books in this notes area. Now, if I go ahead and put it in the search bar, you'll see that it actually won't appear. It Nothing appears inside of here, but if I've got a hashtag selected, for example, if I added a hashtag to a day of the week, and I said, this one's at meetings, for example, and I go out of this, you can see meetings was added to the hashtags area. And if I search meetings, I can find the notes 
for the day on this and actually be able to access that quite easily. So if you want to be able to use hashtags, you can use them to organize any notes that you have on specific days, which is a really handy experience. So with the same concept of hashtags, I can mention people. For example, if I put Sam or Francesco say or Bob, it would come up in this area selected at Sam and you can have mentions to whatever you want. It could even be another context point, like how long a task is gonna take you, or for example, a reference to someone who the meeting was with. So you can see all of the times that you interacted with that person. So as you can imagine, this is a more of a useful experience for those who already use an app like, for example, Dynalist, or an app like Agenda, who like to associate notes to specific calendar times and use this almost bullet journal-like markdown editing to be able to plan their day ahead. Now this application works pretty well in terms of being able to plan your week ahead, but it doesn't have any methodologies attached to it, neither does it have any smart abilities. It's a very raw application in a sense, but this is an experience that a lot of people will find helpful. Now there's a range of different things you can change in settings, but the concept of this application is to try and combine your calendar notes and tasks into one application. So guys, hopefully you found this video useful, whether you chose or went ahead with note plan, I'd really love to hear in the comments. Hit like with this video if you enjoyed it, make sure to become a subscriber to enjoy regular content like this, and also comment below with any other questions you may have. Anyway guys, big thanks to Brain FM again for sponsoring today, and I will see you guys very very soon. Cheers.